with some of the most recent updates to DJ Pro, including the 5.5 update, we got even more music sources added to the already huge list of available music sources. In this short video, I'm going to go over side by side the music sources that are available for both these devices. Get to your music sources in DJ Pro for the iPad. If you're in Pro mode, you are going to go to this middle one here to see your library at this bottom section and you'll be able to access all of your music sources. And then on the laptop, you're always going to see your music sources, which is really convenient, and it's going to be this scrollable bar to the left. Some slight differences that make a huge difference in DJing. So I'm going to go over it one by one, explain what these music sources do, and stay tuned till the end where I explain what the one library does. That is the biggest update from the 5.5 update. So the first music source on both is going to be your playlist. It might be called My Collections, but this is where you're going to create, organize, and manage your your playlist with that new one library feature you could create the playlist on your laptop create the playlist on your ipad and then plug your usb stick and use it interchangeable on each device which is awesome so more ways to save our hard work for our playlist next is going to be apple music streaming this is the apple music streaming service this is not the music on your devices you have to sign up either for a free trial or the paid subscription you could dj with millions of songs right there in the Apple Music streaming service. Next on the iPad is going to be the music that DJ gives us. A bunch of different genres so you can start DJing right away without a streaming service or without any music on your devices. And they actually have scratch sounds here, which is pretty cool. So you could get more scratch samples and there's pretty much any genre you could think of. Now is where things get interesting. On the laptop, we have access to the most requested streaming service, everyone's favorite streaming service for DJing, and we weren't able to use it for a while, but Spotify is back for the laptop. It is not back on the iPad yet. Uh, a lot of my uh, people that watch my videos DJ with the iPad, and I cannot wait for them to add it to the iPad, but it is not there yet. Next on the iPad is Tidal. This is my favorite streaming service millions of songs and you could dj with music videos and the cool thing is we could actually now use narrow mix while we have songs loaded from a streaming service with title on both devices skipping back we have the music on we have dj's music on the laptop we have title on the laptop and then these ones are going to be the same, just more streaming services. It's a preference if you already have one of these streaming services, you could use them, but they're all going to have millions of songs. It's just only Tidal can be used with stems and only Tidal has music videos, but we have SoundCloud, Beatport, BeatSource on both devices. Now we are here to the new symbol in our library and that is going to be the one library. This allows you to create playlists. You, so you could create a playlist, set your cue points, set your loop, your save loops on your on your Mac. And then with a USB stick, you could you could take that and then plug it right into your iPad and have all of the data that you worked hard making your playlist and your cue points right on your iPad, either if you're using DJ Pro and it's also going to be integrated with other DJ softwares and DJ hardware. So I'm super excited about one library. And if you want to see my full beginner tutorial on DJ Pro for the laptop, check out this video over here.